Okay, today we'll be opening up this used Pure Lighter Boss oil filter, number PBL22500. And I got this used oil filter from a very generous viewer whose name is John Parada from Yonkers, New York. Thanks, John. This filter was in service for six months, 5,200 miles, and came off of John's 2018 Chevy Impala. Yep, the one with the 3.6 liter V6 engine. He was using Mobile One 5W30 full synthetic oil during this period. Let's open up this Purelator Boss oil filter and see how it did. So let's get started. It's just a network. You gotta glue the silicone be nice and tight. Get your end of here. Filtration everywhere here. Okay, so before we open this filter up, let's take a quick look at it. The day code? F05R01G1. If we look over here, we'll see. Made in USA. This is a sticker on here. And this filter has seven elongated inlet holes, silicone and drain back valve, metal core louvers, bypass valve down below, five grooves there for threads. And this is a, they call it a pure seal gasket. It's ethylene acrylic. It's ethylene acrylic gasket. Pretty thick, and I'll put the thickness up on the screen. Yeah, it looks like a nice gasket. And let's um, open this filter up, see what it looks like. Okay, not too bad for oil. Drained out pretty good. Yeah, it looks like the engine bag valves are good because the oil's sitting in there nicely in a puddle. Let's take a look at the same engine bag valve up close. I'll clean it up, but it doesn't look like it has any any slits in it, any tears, gouges, or anything. Yeah, it all looks good. Okay. Paint there. And filter element. So we got the bypass valve right here. And I don't see no excess glue. Metal end caps. Metal crimp seam right here. I'll put the number of pleats on the screen. They look nicely spaced. Yeah, I don't see no tears. No rips or anything. A little crooked, but that's okay. It's not nothing major. This is a full synthetic media with a micron rating of 99% at 25 microns. And it also has a polymer mesh backing on it. This filter media. So, yeah, that all looks pretty good. We got here a stamp leaf spring. It's got a nice curve to it. Yeah, it looks good. And the oil looks good. I don't see no soot in there. It's got a nice color to it. Yeah, it all looks good. I'll put the thickness of this can up on the screen. But that looks pretty pretty clean. 5,000 miles, a little over 5,000. Looks good. It's like John's engine's running pretty clean there. I would say it is. Okay, let's get the width on this filter media. Okay. Three... 3.17 inches wide minus a tenth of an inch. All right, let's take this filter media, cut it open, squeeze it out, stretch it out, and see what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, so here's the filter all stretched out. And this Pure Lady Boss filter is 47 inches long.
Okay, now let's get the thickness of this filter media. 0.92 millimeters thick. Okay, this is the filtering side. In the back side, you can see this polymer backing, polymer mesh backing. And if you take a look at this filter under a microscope, it, it, it doesn't let any light through. But you can see, you can see some uh, carbon and soot on on top a little bit though. But I think I'm thinking most of it is right inside the filter itself because it's not letting any light through. So all the dirty stuff is inside. So let's take a look at that picture. So as you can see on the picture, there's, there's some stuff on the outside, but it's not letting any light th go through. So I'm thinking there's a lot of dirt inside the filter media itself. Now let's take a look at it up close. So there's not really any soot, like say, piled up on the outside. It's like it's inside the filter itself. And these, I've seen these before. I think that's when it's, they're stuck together right there and you you get some non-filtering in those little spots yeah but there's no really you know there's not really any soot on the outside itself it's just all inside a couple little sparklies right there's one not much for sparklies Yeah, I think the filter actually did a pretty good job because it's all stuck inside the filter media itself. And let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So the gasket held up good. Nice thick gasket. And drain back valve. Looks like brand new. Nice base plate. A lot of inlet holes. A lot of grooves there for threads. Now this is this the seam that came apart when I, when I was stretching it apart, that's all. That sometimes that happens. Stamp leaf spring looks fine. Can. I just had it sitting just like this, and that's what it looks like. Uh, that could be just a sliver of paint. But yeah, that, that's pretty clean. You know, I didn't I didn't clean it out. I just had it sitting like just like that. And so let's, let's take a look at these louvers. Okay, so you can see those are opened up. Those are fine. Yeah, so these days, this is my preferred oil filter, the Pure Lighter Boss. I think they're pretty well-made oil filters. A little pricey, but I think they're well-made, and there's no really surprises inside when I open them up. What do you guys think about this filter? And again, I want to thank John for sending me this used Pure Lighter Boss oil filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care.